Hey everybody, Alonzo here with GolfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making jalapeno cheeseburgers. So it's a nice hot day outside here in South Texas. It's finally starting to feel kind of like spring or summer. So we're going to head outside into the backyard. The kids are going to be playing. My wife and I have been talking about making smash burgers for a long time now. And we're going to add some jalapeno elements to this that we think are going to take it to the next level. So we did think of this recipe today. We're really going to try this out with you guys and hope that it turns out good. But let's get right into it. So for our burgers today, we're going to start off with some beef bacon. This beef bacon is from Porter Road. And it comes from the navel area on the cow, which is just the belly. So think about pork belly on a pig. That's where this is on this beef bacon. I'll tell you what, as soon as it hits the griddle, it has such an amazing smell to it. It's got a lot of fat in there. We want to render that down and we want that to taste delicious. So this was from Porter Road. This is uncured beef bacon with no added preservatives. We won't talk too much about it, but I do want to say thank you to Porter Road for sending us this beef bacon. If you guys are interested in trying this beef bacon, I'll put a link down below. I do want to let you guys know that it is an affiliate link and it does help out the channel. If you guys decide to purchase from there, and let's just get this rented out and cooked fully and then we're gonna start making these burgers. About five minutes later, you can see this bacon is looking nice and rendered. We're gonna take this off, let it drain a little bit, but we're gonna keep all of that rendered beef fat here and we're gonna use this to make our smash burgers. We're gonna put down some onions and grill these. And just a few seconds later, these onions are done. Now we got a few jalapenos. And another minute later, these are done. Hopefully you guys are noticing that it's taking 45 seconds or so to get the onions and the jalapenos grilled. We want this griddle hot and I'll show you why in just a second. We want a nice crust on these burgers. We are doing smash burgers today. It's all about getting texture and you want a high heat in order to do that. We're also using that rendered fat to give flavor to everything. So if you guys don't have beef bacon or you don't like beef bacon, just use regular bacon and do the same exact thing when you're doing this in your backyard. Ground beef on now. We're making big old burgers. We're gonna smash it down. These are gonna shrink a lot, so don't be worried how big this looks right now. Now we'll hit the top with Southern Bell. Next, patty down. And these are smash burgers, so don't be afraid to give it a good smash. Some more Southern Bell. I've got a weird thing where I hit it across and put little marks in there. Saw them do this at Whataburger once, so I kind of do it. I don't really know why. I can't explain it. But we're going to let these cook for just a few minutes until we notice a nice crust forming on the outside. There's going to be some juices coming to the top here, and that's when we know it's time to flip. So you'll notice these juices here that are on top of this burger patty. That's when I know that I want to flip, so I want to be careful. And I want to do a nice flip, smush. You see that texture there? That's exactly what we want to see on this burger patty. I'm going to time out about 30 seconds in my head, and then we're going to put cheese right on top. Now for the cheese, and we're just going to let this melt, and then they're completely done. Don't forget the buns. We want to put a nice toast on these. And after just a few seconds, these burgers are looking righteous. We're going to take these off. We're about to go inside and assemble our burger. And a few seconds later, that's exactly what you want to see on your bun. That's going to give a great texture and flavor. Now it's time to assemble these burgers. We're going to start with that beautifully toasted bun. And we're going to put down some jalapeno mustard. 
Gonna take the back of a spoon and spread that jalapeno mustard all over. I want this in every single bite. Now I've got some spicy ketchup from Whataburger. We got more jalapenos and those grilled onions. Put as much or as little as you want. Next we'll put patty one. Now we'll put patty two. And if you look at the cheese right here, it has a beautiful texture. All of this is going to bring a nice flavor and texture to this burger. Now we have a few pieces of that delicious beef bacon that we got from Porter Road. And last but not least, I have some jalapeno kettle chips that are going to absolutely set this burger off. I did add some more ketchup and jalapeno mustard on top. And then we're going to crown our burger. Now it's time to try this jalapeno cheeseburger that we thought of today when we were at the store. So there's actually a sandwich at McAllister's called the Jalapeno Turkey Crunch. It has the kettle chips in there just like this and that's kind of where we got our inspiration from. I was walking through the chip pile, saw the jalapeno chips and said I know exactly what I want to do. That's my wife and I's favorite sandwich from there so we're really hoping that this turns out great. But that's enough talking, let's take a bite. Right off the bat, the textures. The textures are incredible. I get the crunch from those kettle chips. I get the nice crust on the patties. I get great flavor from Southern Bell. It's not too spicy at all. If I'm being honest, I wanted it to be a little bit spicier. I obviously taste jalapenos, but I don't get a major kick or anything like that. So maybe if I could use some hot sauce or Tabasco or something in here to kind of kick it up, I think I would like it a little bit more. But overall, you really can't beat that texture. I said that's exactly what I like in my food is a contrast of texture and flavor. And this gives me that. I would honestly say that this is about an 8, 7 out of 10 because I do want it to be a little bit spicier with all those spicy elements that we added. But this is incredible and I definitely think you should try it. If you're worried about that spice, like I said a second ago, it really doesn't taste too spicy at all. And... And that beef bacon just brings such a rich, a rich flavor. It's delicious. It does taste extra beefy. I can definitely tell the difference between the ground beef and the beef bacon without a doubt. It added a great flavor throughout this burger. You know, like I said earlier, if you guys can't get your hands on the beef bacon, just try it with regular bacon or click that link down below and get your beef bacon from Porter Road today. But man, I loved this burger. I love doing stuff like this where we're just looking to get outside, cook something delicious, and then it turns into something super great. That's what I like to do, just get outside with the family, make something cool on the grill, and enjoy the day. I want to say one more thing before we go today. You know, the days are long, the years are short. I've been extremely motivated lately. I want all you guys to go out and do something great this week. I'm not always going to be like that, but man, I've just been feeling really good, really motivated. So, if you guys have a goal, go out there, reach for it. Don't be afraid. I know that there's a lot of hard times going on, but I believe in you. And as always, really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. <music>